Hi guys, uh, I am Dr. Janki Shah and I welcome you to the subject of optical dentistry. So these are the following textbooks which you would require. Uh, you can buy one of them and refer the rest from the library. Let's start with the subject. Uh, what is health actually? So health is defined by WHO as a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease or infirmity. What is the meaning of the word infirmity? Infirmity is a state of being weak or ill over a long period of time, especially one caused by old age. What do you mean by the word public? Public means or of pertaining to the people of a community, state or nation. Next we come to the definition of public health. What do you mean by the word public health? It is people's health. It is concerned with the aggregate health of a group, a community, a state or a nation. Uh, this is the Winslow's definition uh, as given by WHO. Please remember this is the definition of public health and not that of a public health dentistry. So how has Winslow defined public health? It is the science and art of preventing disease, prolonging life and promoting health and efficiency through organized community efforts for the sanitation of the environment the control of the communicable infections, the education of the individual in personal hygiene, the organization of medical and nursing services for early diagnosis and preventive treatment of disease and the development of social machinery to ensure for every individual a standard of living adequate for the maintenance of health so organizing these benefits so as to enable every citizen to realize his birthright of health and longevity. The father of public health, his name is cholera. Why? Because John Snow discovered the source of cholera outbreak by the germ theory. He found out that the water, drinking water was a vessel why the whole community got, uh, got cholera by transmission of the disease. So these are a few branches of public health dentistry which we will be covering throughout the entire year. Next we come to the definition of community. How do you define community? It is a definite group of people or population having common organization living in the same region or area following similar rules and regulation under the same environment. The term community health is comparable and synonymous with public health and encompasses the full range of health services, environmental and personal, including other major activities such as health education of the public and the social content of life as it affects the community. Next we come to the definition of prevention. Prevention is an art and science of utilization of knowledge, skill and measures either in preventing the onset or the spread of the disease by any medium or by therapeutic agent. Uh, next, we come to the most important definition for us, that is definition of public health dentistry. The definition of public health dentistry is same as community dentistry. We just learned that public health is synonymous with community health. So, the definition of public health dentistry goes as, it is a branch of dentistry which deals with prevention and control of all oral and dental diseases and promotes optimum oral or dental health through organized community efforts. Uh, if you can please understand, what is the minimum, uh, meaning of optimum? Optimum means which can be achieved to the best level. 
and what do you mean by organized community efforts community means it uh, suppose if there is a, a disease then there is a whole team which is working behind the prevention of it it can include a dentist it can include a public health worker it can include a parent and so go on forth so again what is the definition of public health dentistry it is a branch of dentistry which deals with prevention so the word prevention will be utilized very frequently in this subject and once the disease occurs the next important thing is to control so that people can live a good life after you control it you have to uh, control so that it does not progress further and so that that person can live to his optimum best with all the uh, with all what is lost which can be restored artificially so the word organized community efforts is also important if a definition of preventive dentistry is asked the last four words are eliminated and the definition becomes the definition of preventive dentistry that is it is a branch of dentistry which deals with prevention and control of all oral and dental diseases so very important definition these two definitions two are given in the textbook and you can very well memorize them but the definition which i have given is also a correct definition and it is very easy to mug it now there are four broad areas in public health first is lifestyle and behavior second is environment third is human biology and fourth is organization of health programs so uh, health is frequently affected by lifestyle and behavior of a person and therefore it is important environment obviously uh, it's all around us and you can see it in action human body or the human biology and organization of health programs these are the four broad areas in which public health can be taught uh these are the four concepts of changing concepts of health which can be asked to you in a full question so we'll be covering each concept in detail so the the first is the biological concept of it is a little inadequate health is viewed as an absence of disease it does not take into consideration social and cultural aspects ecological concept it shows that the health has got a dynamic equilibrium between man and environment and improvement in adaptation leads to a healthy life psychosocial concept means health both biological and social health is influenced by cultural social economic and political factors and the last one of uh, holistic that is synthesis of all the above concepts which recognizes the strength of social economic political and environmental influences on health so all three are important and the combination of all three that is holistic is the way to go now these are the four phases of uh, public health uh, this can be asked to in a full question and uh, short note 2 is asked about social engineering phase so uh, it is little bit about a history of public health and since it's the first day you can very well uh, know the history of the disease so the first disease uh, first phase is disease control phase that was from 1880 to 1920 this was aimed at the control of man's physical environment that is most of the diseases that time were because of the um, quality of water and about uh, disposal of waste so examples are water supply and sewage disposal if you improve the water supply and the sewage disposal the man's environment changes for the better and therefore disease will decrease 
it was aimed not at any specific disease but at improving the health of people due to the disease the next phase is the health promotional phase that is from 1920 to 1960 that is health promotion of individuals where the personal health services such as mother and child health services school health services industrial health services mental health and rehabilitation of services were given importance two great movements were initiated the first one being provision of basic health services through the medium of phcs that is public health centers and sub centers for urban and rural areas this was done by the board committee in india recommended who recommended health centers for curative and preventive services at all levels including at village level and second is community development program to promote village development through active participation of the whole community and on the initiation of the community the next phase is 1960 to 1980 where the pattern of disease began to change uh, many acute illnesses got solved but new health problems began to emerge such as cancer diabetes alcoholism cardiovascular diseases a new factor na- that, that is a new term that is risk factor as determinants of the disease came into existence what do you mean by the word risk factor two people have the same um, are eating the same amount of sugar but one person develops diabetes the other does not so that is uh, even though both of them are exercising the same amount then there is a reason why a person contracts the disease and the reason why another does not contract so the reason why that person contracts is the risk factor uh, chronic diseases play a chronic burden on a person as well as the community social and behavioral aspects of diseases give a priority preventive and rehabilitative aspects of chronic diseases and behavioral problems were given priority and the phase the next phase is health for all by 2080 where after these phases it was uh, needed that there is an organized application of local state national and international sources to achieve health for all whether a person is poor or rich or whether he is staying in the country or in the village or in the poles uh public health is as a combination of scientific disciplines and skills and strategies that are directed to maintenance and improvement of health of the people it should ultimate aim is it should be socially and economically productive life for all